we want to find the limit of the sequence given by a sub n. We determine the limit of a sequence the same way we determine the limit at infinity of a function, which means the limit of the sequence is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of e raised to the power of 0.1n divided by 5n. And now to help us determine this limit, let's see what's happening to the value of the numerator and denominator. So looking at just the numerator, as n approaches infinity, e raised to the power of 0.1n is going to get larger and larger and increase without bound, and therefore the numerator is approaching positive infinity. Now looking at the denominator, as n approaches infinity, 5n is also going to approach positive infinity. So because this limit is in the form of infinity over infinity, this is called an indeterminate form, and because of this, we can apply L'Hopital's rule to help us determine the limit. Looking at our notes below, L'Hopital's rule states, if we have a limit in indeterminate form, which is one of these forms here, then the limit as x approaches c of the quotient of the two functions is equal to the limit as x approaches c of the quotient of the derivatives of the functions. So to help us determine the limit, we'll now find the derivative of the numerator and denominator with respect to n. So this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of, to find the derivative of e raised to the power of 0.1n with respect to n, we have to apply the chain rule. Remember the derivative with respect to x of e to the u is equal to e to the u times u prime where in our case, u is equal to 0.1n. So the derivative of e raised to the power of 0.1n is equal to e raised to the power of 0.1n times the derivative of 0.1n, which is 0.1, and therefore the derivative is 0.1 times e raised to the power of 0.1n. And the derivative of 5n with respect to n is just 5. And now let's see if we can determine this limit. Well, as n approaches infinity, 0.1 times e raised to the power of 0.1n is going to get larger and larger and approach positive infinity. Notice how the denominator does not contain an n, so the denominator is always 5, and therefore this fraction as a whole will just get larger and larger, increasing without bound, and approach positive infinity. So because this limit approaches positive infinity, and infinity does not exist, the limit does not exist. So because the limit of the sequence does not exist, we can say that a sub n diverges. And because the limit approaches positive infinity, this is telling us that as we generate more and more terms using the formula a sub n, the value of the terms increase without bound or get larger and larger. And let's verify this by looking at the graph of a sub n. So here's the graph of a sub n, where n is along the horizontal axis, and a sub n is along the vertical axis. We can see as we generate more and more terms, the value of the terms do increase without bound, which is why a sub n diverges. I hope you found this helpful.